how are you doing? What, what are you up to um, at, at this moment? Just pottering about. I mean, there's nothing major going on. Uh, nothing interesting that I can tell you about. Mm. But then again, I don't think anyone is at the moment. Do you have um, Do you have Twitter? We've got Twitter. Yes. You look at what people are doing now on there, and it's it's all. No one's doing anything interesting. It's all taking the dog a walk. Or are you on Twitter? Do you Twitter no, at bother. all? Oh, you see, it's weird because I thought, you know, I, my life isn't interesting enough. The other day, it was the highlight was sort of nipping out for an onion. I was doing some painting, and the uh, flat stunk of paint. And I thought I'm gonna get an onion. And I yeah. thought if I was on Twitter, that would be it. That would be, you know, be, be the main post of the day. But going out to the onion. I don't like people knowing what I'm doing. I don't understand why people are yeah. sort of happy with that. Uh, I mean, maybe if they had something really good that was going on, that I don't have to tell you. I sort of think, well, just, just, you know, they'll find out if it's any good. Because a lot mm. of people say, oh, I'm doing this, that, and the other, and then nothing ever comes of it. And yeah, that's the whole thing with the internet. It's gotten more and more invasive. It has. I suppose, and everyone seems to be happy to give up their photos and details and yeah, like but, it's interesting. But what, is anyone looking? It just seems like everyone's doing that. Everyone's telling everyone what they're doing, but no one's reading it. Mm. It's like just everyone going, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm taking the dog out, I'm nipping out for a bag of spuds. It's just all really... When you think the internet's amazing, and now we're using it just like junk mail. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's stuff that normally, if it was posted through your door, it'd be picked up in the bin, and yet... This is all we seem to be doing now. It's mm. that's the, that's, chat. Well, it's worked for the. I mean, obviously, it's worked for you guys in the podcast in an extraordinary way. Yeah. Does, does that still surprise you, or have you figured that out? Try not to work it out. I mean, people like it. You know, we go in a room, no planning. We just sit down and have a chat, and uh, people download it all over the world. And I mean, it is amazing. Uh, but the world's a big place, isn't it? So it, you only have to get like a small percentage of the world interested in something, and you can do all right out of it. Whereas years ago, you'd, you'd have to do something really good to get so many people listening to what you've got to say. Do you know what I mean? Mm, I think so. So, so less less people had to. Uh, well, you, you know. just you can just bring anything out, and like my mum bought a, a gnome that whistles. When you walk past it, it whistles. Now, if that was brought out in about nineteen. 36 people would go put it in the bin and that'd be the end of it whereas now bring anything out and if only one percent of the world go mm. after a gnome that whistles mm. you'll do all right that'll be a big money-making thing and i think that's what we've done you know with with the audio book you is, know. is that a good thing too many people do you, is, is this a, a good advance uh what do you mean i mean having more people on the planet and, and well, being it, able to it pick means up it's easier stuff. to sell stuff. I mean, you know, like when Caveman came up with the wheel, it's a brilliant invention, we're still using it now. But back then, there wasn't that many people for him to go knocking on doors saying, Can I offer you a wheel? You know, what price will you give me for this? So it's, it's easier now to sell a product, but the product isn't as good as it used to be because it used mm. to have to be something really good. And I think that's the problem with, with the internet. You know, there's just. You type in something you want, and someone somewhere will, will have it. Done it already. Yeah, done it, it already. Yeah, yeah you'll, it, you'll think you've it. come up with something really good, and you look at it. Someone's got it there. 19.99, pre-order now, and that's that's what's made it tougher. It's tougher to come up with something original, and mm. yeah, just you know. But, yeah, but it obviously it worked for the points. worked for the podcast. So listening to it in New Zealand, yeah, of all places, it's mad that. It is. Have you heard from? Have you heard from any listeners from New Zealand? Or yeah, when it... we first started doing it, we used to get um, we used to have an email address, but it just got out of hand because you know you got the whole world sort of going, all right, give us a mention, and there's no way you can do it. I mean, there was like Eskimos emailing in, and that, that was the that's, that's always been the one. Yeah, yeah, that's been the one that's always sort of stuck with me. I mean, Ricky sort of said, oh, we've got loads of you know, David Bowie listens to it and people who make the Simpsons like it and you know all these Hollywood actors but for me it's still that Eskimo I just can't imagine but then again he's a, you know he's a, he's a trapped you know he's, he's probably not got much to do has he over there what did he, he have to say what he was... just sort of said hello just to let you know you know I'm, I'm listening uh, you know Eskimo you know I'm an Eskimo but um, yeah that's that's been the most amazing 
amazing mm -hmm. thing about it, the way that you can say something and uh, you know, someone on the other side of the world hears it and here we are just in a little office in London. Mm. You know, it's not anything flash, it's a couple of mics, uh, duvets, put duvets up. Right, just for the soundproofing. Just for the soundproofing, yes. and uh, it's all cosy, and there we are having a chat, and before you know it, you know, it goes on the internet, and everybody gets it at the same time normally, you know, that's that's the thing. Um, and they listen to it, you know, on the way to work, or when they're travelling, or... Mm. It's just, it's just listen to it wherever, you know, having a bath. So it's, um... Has, I mean, has it, has it changed your life very much from, I mean, prior to this to, you know, a lot of people knowing your name? And, and I mean, even your appearance, you know? It hasn't changed my life that much. I mean, I, I was telling you a couple of minutes ago that yesterday I nipped out and bought an onion. Do you know what I mean? This isn't a celebrity mm. lifestyle I've got. But, I mean, it's changed it in a way that if someone would have said to me when I was 14, you know, mm. when you're older, you'll have done a few books mm. and you'll be talking to people all over the world, the thought would have terrified me. I mean, I really, mm. you know, wasn't something that you it's not something I wanted to do. I'd, I'd, no. It would really bother me. I ate, I ate that sort of. I still ate that sort of thing. I mean, they have to stand up in front of people. Uh, it, it makes me feel sick. Right. But right. when you're doing stuff on the internet and you forget about the people who are going to be listening to it and you're just chatting away and you know it's easy, isn't it? Mm. So, um, but in terms of changing my life, it's. I mean, you seem like a fairly normal individual. You know, you're not. You're the paparazzi out chasing us? No, no, it's far from that. That's what I'm saying. It's not, it's nothing like that. It's, it's a lot of people, but spread all over the place. Mm. You know, if, if, you know, I can walk around and not get asked. Now and again, someone will, will say hello. That, that is it. Someone who I don't know says hello. And you kind of go hello. And then that's it. That's fame for me. But, um, you know, I, I, I don't want to, you know, Ricky's really world known now and he gets hassled a lot and hmm. you don't need I it, wouldn't do you? want that, I, no, I mean I'm only doing this because he's making me do it, you know, he, he's got sick of being out there telling people about these audio books we do. Right, so you're suggesting you go out and do a bit and of it with the press? And he said do something, yeah, and Steve is away in India at a wedding at the moment, so he's like, come on, do something, get out there. And that's why we're here? So that's why we're here, just having a chat. Hmm. I mean, it's not hard, you know, I'm not complaining, there's people who have to do really grim jobs out there, but it's mm. just, uh, it's the bit I don't really like doing, because it suddenly, I don't know, it's, it, it makes it feel something different to what it's meant to be, mm. do you know what I mean? It was never meant to get that big. When we, st I mean, it all started off by us doing a, a radio show. Mm. Was that the one on XFM? Yeah, on that, XFM, right. yeah. And, uh, that was kind of just a, you know a small station, not that many listeners, mm. and then Ricky and Steve, you know, got busy with TV stuff and they couldn't commit to always being in the same place at the same time. Mm. So Ricky sort of said, "Let's do something on the internet. Uh, we can do it when when we've got free time. Just stick it up there." And I mean, we thought we'd get twenty thousand people or something, you know, worldwide. So when it got into like millions, it's just like, what's going on? Outrageous, really, isn't it? But, yeah, it's stupid. But I think, again, it's, it's timing, isn't it? You can come up with a, an idea, and if we'd have done it, say, in 1988, and we brought mm. them out on C90 cassettes, no one would have been interested. It's just that, oh, downloading, it's, it's like the thing Instant. to do, isn't boom, it? Boom, boom. You know, the iPod, oh, that's, I need something to listen to. And I think that's it, I think it was all timing. Mm. You know, Ricky and Steve got popular with, you know, The Office. Uh, I, I brought nothing to it. I, I was just there at the right time. I was, I was kind of like the, the wise men to Jesus, yeah. you know, just happened to be there. And yet they're written about all the time now. But it worked, it worked. And you played off it amazingly well. It worked. People, they didn't know if you were a, a real or not yeah, real. I, or, I mean, it's so weird, that, isn't it? All that stuff, you know, I mean, uh, you know, you look on YouTube and stuff and people saying, yeah, he's, he's an actor called Graham. And you just, who, who's that? Who is that person who's wrote that? Mm. But that's the thing with the internet. You know, it's, it's been good to us, but it's just, it's too easy now, isn't it, for people to go, eh. Mm. You know, comment yeah, comment that, on nothing. stuff. You know, they go no on knowledge. iTunes to buy it, and someone, four stars, uh, not sure about this one. Well, don't don't say anything then. If you're not sure, it's, that isn't really an opinion. You know, if, if it shouldn't even be allowed that. That should be deleted. Mm. You know, you don't, when you go in a supermarket, and you, you go to buy some bread, there isn't someone there going, not sure, 
I'm not sure about this bread. Well, don't, you know, I want to know what people, if they like it, great. If they go, it's a bit yeasty. Fair enough. Not sure. Just mm. go away. Move on. Yeah. So yeah. it's, it's Get rid that's of what I mean. It can be quite annoying, the internet. Just because everyone's allowed an opinion, it's free speech, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So. I think it says it all. It does. That's the web. That it's is the web. It's an unusual beast. Yeah. But, you know, at the same time, someone else can go on there and go, shut up, you know. That last person, being a knob. It all balances out. Yeah, it does in the end. So, you know. any any other sort of plans for the immediate future? Have you made sort of any any thoughts on what you're up to next? Not really. I mean, any holidays planned? You know. Oh, oh you know, there's always a holiday close by because mm. the girlfriend likes going away. But nothing, nothing that great. I mean, the the weird thing is, everything that's happened so far has never been planned. Mm. So, I kind of like to leave it like that, because if you don't have a plan, you can end up doing some interesting things, guy. Yeah, life takes you in some yeah, different if, directions. Yeah, if, if you don't sort of just close the door on stuff. I mean, I didn't go to university or anything, so I sometimes think, I wish I had, because I would have learnt a lot. But then I think, if you, if you sort of learn, if you spend seven years learning to be a doctor or something, mm. you can't then go... I'm going to knock it on the head, I'm going to do an audio book. Because you've put so much of your life mm. into learning about it, and then you've got people there going, hang on, there aren't enough doctors in the world, stop messing about on the internet and get surgery, you know, get doing surgery again. So you, you, you can bog you down, can't it? Mm. Learning something, specialising in something. Whereas I prefer to just go, whatever comes along, I'll, I'll give it I'll a give go. I'll give it a go. And that's what happened with the audio book, that's what happened with the books that I've done, you know, publisher just said, have you ever thought about writing? Mm. And now I do a couple of columns in like different right. magazines and stuff. And well, okay, from someone that hasn't come from university, then what what's the most interesting thing you've learned? Is there something that still sticks out in your head as being amazing? I, I like nature's always the best thing, isn't it? Mm. Stuff that no one's invented. It's just survived. And I mean, there's a lot of creatures you go, I don't know how it survived. Mm. And now we sort of interfere, so that creatures that probably wouldn't have survived years ago mm. now we don't let anything die do we it's no. kind of like oh we're running out of you know polar bears are dying save them mm. whereas years ago it'd be, they'd be dead by now right you don't think you should save them I don't them, think or? you should interfere you know I mean I know that we're messing up the planet and stuff and uh, you know that's a bit bad that polar bears are struggling because of us but then you've got to get stronger haven't you Mm, we adapt. change, we adapt, mm. and some things do adapt, you know, I mean, I've seen squirrels in this park eating Mars bars, that should never have happened, but that's what they've done, they've changed, they've got fatter, but, and they're a bit more aggressive now as well, they've, you know, they used to be, they'd be happy mm. with an acorn, now they've sort of put their nose up at an acorn, it's like, where's the Mars bar? So it's made them a mm. bit more aggressive, aggressive but they've adapted, how? Are they, are they... just a bit more, it's like they, sh they sugared up, it's right. like they're, uh, just like a kid who's had too many Smarties or something, mm. they're running around, they're violent. Um, but they've adapted. Now the polar bear, mm. that's what they need to do. They just need to get a mm. bit more aggressive and stuff. A bit more ballsy. Yeah. Um, didn't you Somehow. have one in New Zealand or something, or was that Australia? Uh, I don't about. think we had a... No, well, one an floated by in an iceberg quite, quite far away, but more, more close to Australia. Really? But yeah, he was just stranded. He couldn't do anything. And so that was sort happens? of a... I think that he, he fell off. That was the end. That I, don't, was I don't think they rescued him. That was it. I mean, there's a bit of you in there that's going, oh, that's time. Poor thing. But then, I don't know, if it learned to swim, and then it got stronger and it swam and it got to the shores of Australia, mm. people would have been like, kill it, wouldn't they? They wouldn't want that roaming around. So in no, a way... Well, they might not kill it. They'd probably put it in a, you know, enclosure. But then is, would it be happy? You know, mm. that's like being in a coma, it's, you're neither here or there, you're dead or alive, you know, it's, it wouldn't have been happy being in a zoo. No. So it's kind of, nature, well, that was a question, wasn't it, what, what sort of things do I like? Nature is, is the big one. one, yeah, I don't know, you know, the amount of stuff I know about it is it's next to nothing, but I think that's part of the fun, mm. that you can never, a day can't go by where, you know, if you'd look up on the internet something about a creature, you'll mm. go, you're joking, I mm. don't know about that. Mm. Um, so yeah, nature programs and nature websites and that sort of thing. That's that's the thing that keeps me ticking along. Yeah, and interested in life because mm. a lot of life isn't that interesting now. Is that everything's been done 
for you. Uh, so yeah, nature. Okay. Yeah. Any um, yes, was, if you hadn't, you said you've never been to university. If you, you've got a pretty good job now, obviously what you're doing. Well, it's not really. If, I mean, it's it's not a good job, is it? Well, it's quite good. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a proper job. Yeah, but it's, I mean, if I mean, you could have a proper job, though, what would you? What do you see? Being a surgeon doing? would be brilliant. I mm. think you know they're the sort of people. The who, ultimate. Yeah, it's just that's the closest to Superman, isn't it? Like mm. you're saving lives. You go about your day. You know, you're important. Mm. You know, people respect you. Mm. Um, I don't know if I'd be good at it. Because uh, your parents wanted you to be. To, to be yeah, a my mum. My mum wanted me to be a, a, a doctor, but I think that's every every parent sort of. That's just up there in it as the ultimate sort of it job. Is. My folks. I I I, was, I went to med school, but did you? Didn't, didn't do very well at all. How so far did you get? Go. What did you learn? First year. I can't remember. I learned a few first things year, about that's just putting a plaster year. on a cut, isn't it? I mean, well, it's, it's, it's sort of a lot of theory. You're looking at, you're learning a lot about um, everything for you know internal organs, all that kind of carry on. Yeah, you know, practical stuff. You see, it, it's just it's amazing, isn't it? The body, oh, it all is. the it's stuff that's in there. Yeah. And and the good thing is, in a way, once you've learned it, it's not like being a car mechanic where a company will bring out a different car with a different mm. engine and different fittings and you know. A mechanic has to keep learning yeah, new the things. The body's the same. The body hasn't changed, has it? Once you've changed one lung, you've seen, you've changed them all. Do you know what I mean? So, in a way, it's not that tricky. It's just that thing of you've got someone's life in your hands, and if it goes wrong, everyone's going to find out about it. Mm. Whereas a mm. vet, same job. If you kill a cat, no one bats an eyelid. So it's just that fine line of, you know, mm. the, the amount of stress with the job. Mm. But I think they're brilliant. I mean, I've only been in hospital a couple of times, but just the way they, they they're a different species, aren't they? Oh, they are. They're an intelligent. They're very yeah, intelligent they just, and, and nothing they panics them. It's like, this no. is what we're going to do. And it's like, I wish you don't tell me. But it's, well, it's almost like they're showing off. They don't need to tell you. But they're just going, we're going to do this, going to do that. We're going to tap that out. You'll be dead for three minutes or whatever. Just, what, what are you talking about? You know, mm, it's just, just a doctor or a loon. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, that that'd be the ultimate thing. But that's not going to happen now. Um, oh, you know, you're in a good place. You're in a good place. I mean, Mel, I said it would be nice if you came and maybe visited New Zealand. I think that'd be a good, you far. know, another thing to do. Too far. It's a long flight. You're over 20 hours. But think of the new creatures and everything that you'd discover yeah, there. Up. Yeah. Well, again, it's nicer to watch them sort of things on the telly because you've got mad stuff, haven't you? We do. Our but national bird, um, the kiwi, can't fly. Its wings are too small, and that's our national icon. How do you feel about that? I don't think it's the best icon to have because I mean, it's you want an eagle or something almost. Not yeah. this, this is quite a. Have you seen the kiwi? Have you seen what it looks like? It's a big round. I it was a fruit. Right, there is a kiwi fruit as well. So does the fruit do more than the bird? I oh, mean, is it more tastier. impressive? You can't eat kiwis. But, I mean, so what are they for then? You can't eat them. They can't fly. What are they doing all day? They um they don't even come out during the day. They come out at night, so you don't see them. If you go to the zoo to see a kiwi, you've got to go into a dark room and sort of peer through the glass and see them picking about. It's really unusual. So if it, if it wasn't the fact that it's on a flag, you'd probably never see one. No. I mean, flags are dying out. People don't really have flags these days. They don't over here anyway. No, 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 no one, no one sort it. of flies the flag. It's known as like, oh, it's a bit sort of, I don't know. Is that you okay? It's sort that? of racist, right? You know? For some reason, everyone's the same. Something. But but yeah, but uh, I mean, I I haven't had a flag for years. Like when the Queen's birthday back in about 1973 or something, mm. we had trifle and had a flag. Um, that was the that was it. That's what you did back then. But um, yeah, kiwi kiwi bird. See, by rights, it shouldn't be around anymore, should it? If it's not, mm. you know, it's sleeping all day, so it's bone idle. It's you can't eat it. It's got wings mm. that don't work. It's a write off. Get rid of it. I'd say get rid of it. I mean, that was a program that I wanted to do, sort of going through all the different species <laughs> and saying, like, what do they do? Right. Do we still? What do we still need this Just creature what about? If we right. got rid of it, if we got rid of the kiwi, how mm. would the world change? Mm. They say, like, if all the bees go, the population would die out in three years. Right. Just because of the, the complex of ecosystem. They do, they're busy. Mm. Busy bee. Uh, kiwi. I mean, if it's asleep all day, don't even mm. wake it up. Mm. Let it let it sleep all it wants. <laughs> if it's it can't be doing anything. I mean, what is it doing at night when it is awake? Mm. Eating bugs usually, and I mean that's part of the whole ecosystem. I guess it's got to eat the there's bugs and it all stays in balance. That eats bugs, isn't it? There's, a, there's, mm. there's always something to mm. do the job. 
Mm. Um, so yeah, the kiwi would be good, and the jellyfish have always had a problem. But you could you could almost say that about all creatures. So the point of them, almost unless we're eating them, like a, a you know a cow or something. I mean, most creatures you could almost think don't need them. No, because they, or, they do. They do all do something. Mm. Most of them do. But it, you know, the, the kiwi and the octopus no good. Octopus. I wonder, is it necessary to have all the arms they've got? Because they've never seen that busy. But the, it's the jellyfish. The jellyfish for me is kind of something that just. Mm. When I called up an expert about that, they said turtles eat them. Mm. I said, yeah. And they said, yeah, well, what do the turtles eat? Mm. They've got the real jellyfish. Well, if they find something, you just do, don't you? You find something, find another food. Hungry. If you go to the shop and it's shut, you nip to another one. Like Burger King shut, McDonald's. Mm. So I just think that's what that's what the, the seals would do, or the turtles. Mm. They'd roam about. The sea's massive. Mm. There's loads of stuff in there, so they're not going to go hungry. Well, I mean, they're doing any harm, though, so you just leave them. What, the jellyfish? Jellyfish? Mm. No, because they did, I, I went away on holiday and got stung by one. That's that's what's brought all this on, really. So it's, it's, it's the kind anger of, a personal, of being stung. Yeah, it yeah. is a bit, a bit of a personal issue I've got. But the fact is, I didn't do anything towards it, and yet it stung me. Mm. I was in the sea having a good You got in its space, though, didn't you? It's its home. Yeah, you but, know what I mean? Yeah, but why why is it so close to the to the shore, then? It's got all that. That can swim. I'm not a great swimmer, so mm. I'm, I'm staying in about five foot of, of water. Safe here. I'm mm. not pushing me luck. Uh, I'm on holiday. I want a nice time. And the, and the weird thing is, I hadn't been in the sea for about ten years because mm. because there's too much stuff in it that I'm not aware mm. of. Do you know what I mean? It's I respect it. You don't come on our land. I won't go in the sea. And then my girlfriend was like, "It's brilliant, though. It's really clear. It's beautiful sea. It's not like the sea in England. We're in the Caribbean." So I thought, "All right then." Got in it and had a go. And I thought, "It's great, this." really relaxing and I get yeah, a bit of same. eczema on my legs and she said the seawater will be good for that I thought mm. you're right and I got in loved it we came out sat down about five minutes later I said I'm going back in I mm. loved it mm. she said alright be careful went out again I'm just going out and something which I didn't know at the time was a jellyfish mm. grabbed hold of my foot and it was mm. like have you ever been stung by a jellyfish? never no I've avoided them but do you go in the sea? I go in the sea, it's just never happened. They always swim a little bit away from me. You know what I mean? What are the chances? Yeah, what was it like? It's like glass. It's like glass being put through your foot. And I was like, oh God, what's that? And I got out and like didn't want to make a show because there's people there. I went and sat down and said, oh, I don't know what's just happened. And I looked at my foot and it had like all parts of its legs or the, the <laughs> tank, you know, the sting of it, mm. still wrapped around it. Mm. And uh, I just said, look at that, it's jellyfish. Mm. And you don't know the, the sneaky thing is it's like it's like some sort of hoodie, isn't it? It's like they come out of nowhere. Mm, like a, a hoodie. A hoodie. You have hoodies like a, here, like a kid who's hiding behind a tree. Right. And then they jump criminals. out. Right. Yeah. And there was no warning. If if it was on top of the water, I'd go. There's a jellyfish. I'll respect it. I'm going to get out and let that float past. But it's underneath. It's just kind of uh, grabbed, and it doesn't. I'm no use to it, am I? It's not like. No. I, I couldn't get you. any nutrients, no. whatever, mm. from my foot. Mm. So it was just a lunatic. Mm. And when when the excuse for keeping them on the planet is turtles eat them, get shot on them. Yeah. I think I mm. reckon I could I could easily put a case forward for them. Mm. And the, the fact that you know they say something like ninety seven percent water or something. Right. I've Almost always, I've always said just give anyway. them another three percent of water. Just let's have water. Water <laughs> is more useful than this blob of stuff that just. Yeah, yeah, I never hear a good word about them. No, get yeah, rid of them. Get rid of them. So, right. uh, well, yeah. it's, a, it's a good idea for a show. It is, isn't it? Just analyse what's uh, what, what's needed and, and it's what's never not. ending. The amount of stuff that's on the world, mm. that's what these TV companies like. They like mm. stuff that can run and run, like Friends Different and seasons, stuff. yeah. You'd have loads of stuff. Yeah. The Friends of... went on too long, I think. That's, that's the, yeah. yeah, it does. But yeah. with this, every time a different insect, starting off small, getting bigger. Mm. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you can sell that for me, but maybe so New Zealand would have it. I have a think about it. Come over for a holiday. It's too far, it's honestly. Too far. You see, you're, right. you're used to it. You're you, that because you live on a bigger area than us. You know, you're used to if you nip out for a pint of milk, it's a three-hour journey, isn't it? and you, you just sort of go, so what? You're used to travelling far. <laughs> it's not quite. We want, not quite that far. No, but you but are. You're yeah. used to it, aren't you? you it's kind of like. Uh, well, we used to. If we want to go to another country, it's a, we're used to flying quite a, a long way. That's what I mean. Whereas Whereas we, here, we don't like it. We, we kind of, you know, anything over two hours, we mm. start going, oh, it's a bit far, isn't it? So, uh, 
it's like the moon. I bet when they, mm. Richard Branson's doing flights to the moon, isn't he? So mm. I reckon the flights will just be full of Kiwis and Aussies. Because they're like, there's nothing this. We can do this. 24 hours on a rocket or whatever. It's mm. just not a problem. Used English, forget it. You know. Different well, attitudes really as well. Different, different attitudes. attitudes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know. Maybe they're meant to be sorting out a flight, aren't they? That just goes up. And by the time it comes down, it lands because the world's turning. Rather than a plane chasing New Zealand, it's a rocket <laughs> that goes up, and as it turns, right straight, up. straight back. Down to do view. that, maybe. Maybe. Uh, it's there. Yeah, but like I said, you know, I never want to write anything off. You know, if the opportunity comes and there's a good enough reason, maybe. Mm. But I can't see it happening at this moment in time. Okay. Well, look, thanks, Carl. I could talk to you all day. You go on and on. Are you alright? Are your arms alright? No, no, I'm dying. I'm You're happy? Yeah. I mean, are there any, I'm just thinking, is there any other, anything else you want to talk about? We can, I mean, we're getting your books out. They're floating out. They've gone really well. It's mad, that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, people, people are buying them in New Zealand, which is mental. Yeah, I mean, the people seem but they're to... they're good books. They're interesting. Well, they're people, good observations. People, yeah, people, people like them. They're all in camera. Do you yeah. see much of that? Yeah, get in there. On the right, he hasn't done much for him, has he? Look at him. Running from really he's, he's walking. That's our army you see in there. <laughs> Good <laughs> God. I don't feel safe. <laughs> Just, uh, they're all in camo pants. Sorry, it's caught my eye. Yeah, no, it's, that's, uh... I don't, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if we should be worried or what. No, just, uh, uniform, at least they can see each other. There's loads of them. It's like it's like some sort of school oh, yeah. jogging trip. They're all the fit ones, and they're the fat ones who are going to go and have a fag. <laughs> These guys are like cross country. Yeah, yeah. But um, oh, the, sorry. The other question I had, just as someone that's listened to the show, the, all the ribbing that you got throughout the whole thing from um, Ricky, um, well, mainly from Ricky. Did you ever get sick of that? Did you ever want to just tell it? Because you never raise your voice. You stay so calm through all this. I'm just wondering if win. you ever wanted to give something back to him. I mean, there's, there's two of them. And you're mm. never going to win, are you? No. Two against one. But I mean, mm. the other thing is, you know, that's what Ricky's like. He winds up his mates. I mean, he's got mates. Mm. Who he, he's got a, a, a comedian mate who he takes on tour. And he, there's things he does to him. I mean, he mm. sort of digs holes on beaches, sticks him in it, puts the sand back, and waits for mm. the tide to come in. There's another one who he wraps up in gaffer tape. Now, when I see that, I go, okay, mm. he squeezes me head. Mm. But. <laughs> they probably dream of having their head scrolls. They're being like, you know, putting holes and taped up. I've got it easy. So yeah. it's that thing, isn't it? Mm. It's like, don't mm. moan, because it could be a lot, lot worse. It could be worse. And that's that's a lesson in life, isn't it, really? The grass is always green at time. time and just time. be thankful with your lot. And what yeah, you've got. you know, it's not that bad. I mean, he, he likes to have a wrestle now and again. I, I sort of, you know, I'm more like a personal trainer than a mate. He'll sort of say, come round to the office. And I think, oh, is it some work? You know, does he mm. want to record something? Mm. And then he'll just, let's have a wrestle. Uh, it's, uh, it's not normal. No. But um, what's normal? Mm. You know, once mm. once you've done it a few times, mm. you know, it, 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 you do get used to it. And it's only when, like, I'll get home from the meeting, mm. if you can want to call it that, uh, and my girlfriend sort of goes, your head looks a bit red. <laughs> and I go, yeah, I've had a meeting. And she knows, she goes, all right, yeah, Ricky's in the meeting. Mm. It's just the norm now. Mm. Um, mm. So it's not that bad. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's his head squeezing that as <laughs> sort just, of... Just one hand on the head. Just what, just Grabbing quick and grab and, you know, mm. give him a couple of seconds and go, that's enough now. And it's pretty good. As soon as you go, whoa, he, let, he does let go. Right, right. It's he like a trained gone. dog. It's like, a, you know... As long as you can control the, the vicious dog, it's all right, and it's not a problem. And that's mm. what that's what he's like. Is uh, he just gets a bit excited? Mm. But he doesn't stop. It's not just in the office. You know, we can go out for something to eat, and he'll just mm. sort of ask. Now it's quite polite with it. He'll sort of go, "Can I put the napkin on your head? Mm. On, top, on, on, top, on your head?" Yeah. And you sort of go, "I prefer you didn't. There's people around." Or he wanted to put a wooden spoon in it because he found out that if you put it on, then the wooden mm. spoon. If you turn the wooden spoon slightly. Mm the napkin tightens up and it's like he's right. come up with this invention and he's like just let me show you how, how painful it can be <laughs> yeah he's not he's, so you know, deal, he's not you your bog standard it. mate yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah you get used to it you know it's, it's not a problem I mean if it was a problem I wouldn't let him do it okay so you don't have to worry right. some people seem to get concerned about it but 
it's not a problem. Finally, because I say I could just sit here and talk to you all day, but you've got things to do. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, I know Monkey News um, was a big deal on the podcast. Yeah. Probably over it now. I mean, I'm just wondering if you have heard anything. I, I don't want to rehash what we've done. It's done. It's just everything that was going on of interest. Mm. It's been done. It's kind of things come to an end, don't they? Mm. Um, you know, at the beginning, I thought it was an endless supply of stuff that monkeys were getting up to. Mm. But with everything, it becomes a natural end, and you know, mm. you could you could weaken it. You could find mm. out things that monkeys are doing that I could report on. But you've got to have you've got to have some sort of cut off point to everything, mm. haven't you? Uh, it got to a point that the monkeys had to do more and more impressive stuff to impress me. Mm. So news about a monkey being a Formula One driver was no longer that impressive. You know, if, if the bar, you know, mm. the first few were all, you know, really amazing, amazing stories. Mm. So the monkeys had to do, get more. I mean, maybe this is how they'll evolve more. Maybe, you know, if they hear monkey news, they'll go, we've got to step our game up here. And they might they might get the finger out and start being more impressive. But mm. that's how it works, isn't it? That's yeah, how certainly. the human race pushes ourselves. We say, we can't stop there. You know, mm. let's build a bigger bridge or... I don't know what, what we're working on at the moment, but we're always pushing it. Mm. Uh, so yeah, that's what happened with Monkey News. Okay, it was just less impressive. Oh, fair enough. Some things have to stop. Yeah, it might come back. Uh, I yeah. don't know how long Something this thing's going to go on for. You know. Uh, yeah. That's Monkey News. Uh, don't know if you've got anything else to tell you. Oh, thank you. That's you. You've talked. Um, you're wonderful. It's been good to see you. It's been a good chat. It hasn't rained. No? The weather's been great. It's been with us. We haven't been stopped by security men, though the SAS did come out at one point. A few horses roaming about. A few horses. It's nice, nice park. It's big. Whilst you're here, I do like a walk. Yeah, it's good thinking. Should we do, maybe just to get a few set up shots, we'll do a little walk about. If you want. Maybe. And yeah, and I suppose you'll need some shots from behind. Should we do a bit of that? I'll do some now.